We're here working on a gas turbine at uh, Dominion Energy in Elwood, Illinois. We're pulling the casings off the gas turbine and doing an inspection on the inside. Uh, looking for any damaged blades and things of that type of nature. Um, anything we find that's damaged, of course, we repair and uh, get everything cleaned up uh, and put back together. Millwrights are very vital in doing this type of work. Uh, they have a lot of training. They've, they've got a lot of training from the UBC, uh, training that, that APM provides. Uh, you know, it's invaluable to the job. When they come out on the job site, they know already have a really good idea and a grasp of the top work they're going to be performing. Um, and they just basically need a little direction as to what we're going to be taking apart or putting together. And, uh, you know, they're already hitting the, hitting the ground running when they get here. So the task that millwrights would perform would be like all the heavy rigging. Uh, these guys are, are certified riggers. They'll, they rig the shells. Um, they do welding. They do uh, inspections of certain parts they do inspections on. Um, they use high torque bolting equipment. Um, big variety of, of different tools that the millwrights are certified to run and, are, and have knowledge of how to do. The gas turbine we're working on today is the largest frame size in the United States. They make another size that's larger, but they're in other countries. But this is the largest gas turbine in the United States. This unit, when it's running, will produce enough electricity to supply approximately 170,000 homes. This unit, when it runs, will run at a, at a base RPM of 3,600 when it's operating at speed and temperature. And it will produce 170 megawatts coupled to the generator that it's coupled to. The generator that it's coupled to needs to spin at 3,600 RPM to accurately produce the 60 hertz of current that we see when we plug something into the wall in our home. You see the crane behind me, the millwrights, they're responsible for, for all of the rigging. They'll put the steel chokers and chain falls and things like that on, on the pieces that have to come off. We have to take the roof off, uh, casings. Uh, you know, sometimes we even have to pull the rotor out things of that nature. They can, on these turbines here, we can do a lift as much as 100,000 pounds. That's about what a rotor weighs. You can see we use a wide variety of tooling. The millwrights use a very wide variety of tooling to do these tasks. This is just one of the connexes that we got out. I'll open the door up and you can kind of get a brief look at some of the tools that the guys use every day. Uh, you can see we have everything lined out where the guys can come and easily access the size sockets they need or any type of rigging. Um, of course, we've got all of our welding equipment, any other type of equipment that we need, precision tools and so forth to be able to perform the task. Uh, all the millwrights have been trained by the UBC. They know what type of equipment this is and they also know how to use all the stuff that's in here very well. As you can see what we've got doing here, a couple of millwrights here. Um, we're cleaning bolts up, making sure that the threads are good and, and getting any type of rust or any type of debris off the bolting where it's ready to go back and make sure that the nuts screw on them really nice. Uh, the main thing we do is make sure that we inventory every single piece that comes off that turbine. These guys will either label them, tag them, or put them in bags. And there's literally thousands of parts. And we have to keep up with those parts and know exactly where they go. Um, you know, it, you think it's easy when you take it apart, but when you start going back together, two or three weeks down the road, you're like, man, what did, what did I take out over here? But it's very easy for these guys. They walk right over there and, and pick the bag up that they labeled when they took it apart, and they know right where it goes. Uh, you see the behind me over here, you can see where they started that process. Things are labeled uh, and inventoried on the shelving over there, and they're, they're divided up into locations on the, on the machine. The parts that these guys are cleaning, they take great care in cleaning them and ensuring that they're, they're in good working, proper condition. The parts are very expensive. And you know, for us to lose a part or to damage a part in the cleaning process or taking it apart is very costly to the customer. So we millwrights make sure that everything is uh, in top shape before trying to put the unit back together. This is our uh, main control room for our site here at Elwood. Uh, we control all nine units. Um, we have what we call Site 1, Site 2. Uh, the controls for Site 1, uh, we monitor four units with these uh, two computers here. And for the other five units for Site 2, we use those three computers over there. So we monitor through these computers here off all nine units at any given time when they're operating. Uh, our turbines use natural gas uh, to produce electricity here. 
So um, the electricity that's produced is 18,000 volts that are on the unit, which has been uh, stepped up through a transformer to 345,000 volts to supply the, uh, the grid that's used in this area. As, as you know, when you come home from day, uh, you come into your house, you flip your lights on, most people don't understand where that's coming from. Uh, there's a big process in getting it there. There's a lot of equipment used to get that voltage and that electricity to your house. Uh, there's a lot of equipment to maintain. Um, a lot of people take for granted that when they walk in, their house is nice and warm for them. Uh, the lights, the night light or whatever is on for them. And that's all done by people the behind the scenes that are you know, controlling the generators via either gas turbines like what we have here at the site or through coal plants that are you know, also produce electricity. I've always said a millwright, you'll experience them in your creature comforts. You turn on your lights, they put that power generation field, that, that building, that, that nuclear plant, that coal burner in, in, they've built it. You turn on your water, that water treatment facility. The millwrights have done the screens, the digesters, uh, many of the parts of that facility. Go on an airplane, put your luggage down, that conveyor that conveyor the millwrights have put in. So creature comforts that we've experienced every day, that millwright has some kind of play into that.